I'm Dan Kimball. I'm a product specialist here at Aplos, and I, uh, I have a unique background in that I have actually 20 years of fundraising experience working in nonprofits as a fundraiser. I've also had the um, opportunity to serve on some boards and actually help some small nonprofits here in my community. And it's, uh, it's an area that I love with a lot of passion and really have a lot of fun uh, in the fundraising field. So a common question that I get all the time and I think a really important tool for nonprofits is what is a fundraising plan? Uh, and it's something that, again, I get lots of questions on and I'm just gonna spend a couple minutes to tell you a little bit about that fundraising plan. Yeah, so the fundraising plan is, is, is really a critical component of, of a fundraising operation. I really feel like that a lot of people kind of miss the boat when they don't have a fundraising plan because I look at it as, as, as like having a roadmap. I mean, you're not, or a Google map if you want to be current. Uh, but what the fundraising plan is really going to do is going to help you uh, take your goal, whatever goal that is, if you're going to raise $10,000 in, in your year or $100,000 or a million dollars, you're going to take that goal and you're going to really divide out uh, what are the strategies that you're going to raise that money? So at the, at the, at the most simple form, it's going to be, you know, uh, a column that says what the task is. So let's say maybe it's a, it's a dinner banquet. Uh, and in that dinner banquet, we want to raise $5,000. Uh, and of that, we want to have a goal of 200 people uh, coming to that event. And then there's going to be a column that says, well, how are we going to go about doing that? Ticket sales, uh, an auction, and we're going to pass out envelopes at that uh, at that event. So so it's not uh, the detail within that. It's just those three kind of main things. And then really, if you if you keep going with that, then what you would do is you would put, create a fundraising plan for just that dinner banquet. Uh, so it's a plan with or a whole second sheet or event. If you're going along and you're six months of the year and and you realize that maybe you had a couple of your tasks on your fundraising plan that didn't go as well, well, maybe you want to add something. Uh, I, I definitely think that a fundraising plan should be um, flexible in the sense that you uh, you should be able to change it uh, midway, I think is okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. The thing that I'm probably most cautious of is when people um, get um, to a little too excited about the next great thing without thinking it through. You know, maybe something like, you know, the ice bucket challenge was a big deal. Everyone got really excited about that. Suddenly everyone was like, well, we want to do that same thing. Well, these things take time uh, to plan out and, and, and to really execute. So I would just be careful of that. But certainly I think uh, midway through a year, it's good to, 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 to look together, make sure that it's not just one person driving it, but get feedback from your staff. How's this going? Uh, do our do our dates need to be extended out? Those kinds of things. We have a great example of a fundraising plan in the description below. So if you link on, if you click that link, we'll have that for you. A couple of things with the fundraising plan that I think are are really great. Uh, one is it kind of helps keep your staff and um, the people who are involved uh, involved also and accountable. The other thing that's really nice is that uh, if you work with a board and your board um, likes to give a lot of ideas um, and maybe they're not always um, uh, sensitive to the number of hours in a week, what you can do with the fundraising plan is say, hey, look, folks, we're going to refer to the fundraising plan to see where we are. So it's actually a really nice tool to bring to every board meeting to actually on an agenda item say, hey, how are we doing this month or this quarter on our fundraising plan? So I like it from that aspect too.